our problem statement tells us that uranium is present in a dilute sulfuric acid leach and that's to be continuously extracted from the impurities by countercurrent extraction. The aqueous feed contains 1.5 grams of uranium per litre and it's continuously extracted with our solvent that's free of all solutes. At the acidity of the liquor, the extraction of impurities is negligible. Three ideal stages are to be used and the removal of uranium from the aqueous phase is 99% complete. The distribution coefficient for uranium is constant up to an aqueous concentration of 6.5 grams of uranium per litre and the value of that distribution coefficient is 30. The units are grams of uranium per litre in organic phase divided by grams of uranium per litre in the aqueous phase although it's grams over grams so uh, technically it's dimensionless. We are asked to calculate the flow rate of the flow rate ratio or the ratio of the flows of the organic to the aqueous that's necessary to achieve this recovery of 99%. So our solution looks like this. We always start by drawing a diagram. So this shows our three equilibrium stages. We have the light phase, uh, which is the organic phase, going from left to right, and the heavy phase, which is the aqueous phase, starting here at our feed, going from right to left. And we recall that for any particular measure of concentration, for example, X2 here, which is the, uh, the concentration in grams per litre in this stream, uh, the subscript is derived from the numbering of the unit or the numbering of the stage that this stream is leaving. So this stream is leaving stage two, so it has subscript two. The data that we have from the problem statement, we're told that the aqueous feed contains 1.5 grams of uranium per litre, that there are three ideal stages, so n equals three, our distribution coefficient has a value of 30, and our recovery is 99%. So we know that loss is defined as one minus the recovery, so our loss is 1%. It's always good to explicitly state our assumptions. So our assumptions are that the stages are ideal. This was given to us in the problem statement. That this distribution coefficient is constant, at least over the range of concentrations that we're working with. And uh, Really what we should do at the end of the problem is do the mass balance over the whole system and check that the aqueous phase concentration doesn't exceed 6.5 grams of uranium per litre, which is the region over which this constant distribution coefficient is valid. And we are assuming that it's a pure solvent, that, that this stream here, Y4, has a concentration of zero, and that was actually given to us in the problem statement. So to, to analyse this system, we can use the following equations. We know that the loss is the ratio of the extraction minus 1 over the extraction to the power of n plus 1 minus 1, where n is the number of uh, stages in our system. We also know that the extraction factor is defined as m, our distribution coefficient, multiplied by the ratio of the flow rates. We already know the value of n, we were told that there are three ideal stages and we know that the recovery was 99% and the loss was 1%. So given that, that we know the loss and we know the value of n, there's only one unknown in this equation so we uh, could solve for E. Unfortunately that's a, a challenging problem to solve by hand, it's not straightforward. If we have access to a computer we can use a, a whole range of different tools. A simple one is to use the solver in Microsoft Excel and Doing that, we find that E equals 4.25. If we don't have access to a computer, for example, we're solving a problem like this in an exam, we can use interpolation. So the way to go about that is to uh, guess some values of the extraction factor. So we've chosen two, three, four, and five, and calculate the value of this ratio here for those values of E, and that's tabulated here. And we're looking for this ratio, which is equal to the loss, to be equal to 0 0.01. So when we look at these values, we see that that occurs somewhere in here, between E equals 4 and E equals 5. So to work out where in between those two, we can do it graphically, just graphing those four data points. If we draw a straight line across here from the loss equals 0 0.01, we can see that the extraction factor is approximately equal to 4.3, just here. Or we can uh, also calculate the point that that crossover occurs uh, mathematically using straight line interpolation 
and we end up with a value of 4.33. You can see that this is different to what we calculated using the solver in Excel, which was equals 4.25. And the reason for that is that this is not uh, a straight line. You can see that it's a curve. And we've assumed that uh, the function is a straight line between equals 4 and equals 5 when we did this interpolation to calculate equals 4.33. But in fact, this would curve downwards somewhat, looking at the shape of the overall curve, and result in the, the intercept with this loss equals 0 0.01 being uh, somewhere to the left of, of where it is shown here. And of course, that's what we got when we used a solver in Excel. So either way, uh, these numbers are, are close enough, so either would be acceptable. Uh, I'm going to use the value from the solver in Excel and substitute that in to solve for our ratio L over H. So this was our equation for the extraction factor. We calculated equals 4.25 using Excel, and we were given this partition coefficient of 30. We, ca we cannot solve for L and H independently, but we can solve for the ratio L over H and rearranging that expression, we do that, and we end up with 0 0.144. So it's always good form to explicitly write out the answer to the question. So the answer states that the flow rate ratio of organic to aqueous solvent is 0 0.144.